welcome back to another my two good hands video we're still working on our uh, aerator project this is episode two so don't forget shop amazon help support the channel use a link below to get to amazon anything you buy will help support this channel we appreciate that so what we're going to do is we start showing you what we got going on here so let's get you set up so you can see what's doing we're going to build our manifold and then we're going to go put this thing in our shed where it's out of the weather So what we're going to do now is we're going to build a manifold here. It's going to come up like this, out like this, going to have a union on it. Uh, the whole idea behind the union here is uh, to have a union on there. This part here is going to go on our hose. We'll show you that. Uh, this part is going to go on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start taping all these joints so that we can uh, build this thing up together here. So the first thing you do, get your, get your plumber's tape out and do your, uh, do your plumber's tape on here like this. Do a couple wraps. Make sure you just pull it tight and break it off. You can uh, do all of, your, all of your ends this way. Just make sure you uh, turn the pipe clockwise so that you uh, don't unravel this when you go to actually screw it into the pipes. Oh, uh, here we go. Let's get that one. Got our other little nipple here. Yeah, it looks like we have to go get some more uh, have fun tape. We just ran out here. So, uh, we we'll have to go get some tape. We'll be back and we'll finish this up. But what we do after we do this is we get to put these into here like this. Uh, and you bring them in hand tight and you can go about one turn. Thereabouts. Let's see, we can put this on here. And we're going to put this piece, the fixed piece of the union onto here. Uh, the other one, the other end will go on to our hose. I'll show you that in a minute. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our pipe wrench and what have you and put this stuff together. We can lightly grab the uh, union in our vise here and turn this. That's the, there's the easy part. Let's bring all this snug together. Uh, if you're worried about turning that and hurting it, you can always uh, put a pipe in here. But uh, we'll be back. we got to go find, find some more tape. All right. So we're back, and uh, we went and got ourselves the other roll from the basement. So we can continue to work on this. Uh, one of the things we are going to have to do is and this is the hard part, all right? Because you want to here, you want to make sure you're going counterclockwise because that's clockwise in what you're doing. We got to put it on this part, which makes it uh, hard to do because it's hard to go around here, and get it on here. So. Uh, That'll be the piece we put uh, on here, like this. This will be on here, like this. And here we can see that. Get this all to uh, tighten up there. And go around one more time. Now we're going to put this on a shelf like this. Like this. And this would hit the wall. So it's got to be come this way. Like that. That's where that needs to be. We do need to still put a wrench on here. And the reason you want to put a wrench on here is to uh, not torque on 
your compressor, if you put this together the way I did. All right, we're gonna this up just a wee bit more. That should work now. Yep, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, well, that's good and tight. Got that part of it done. The other part we have is this little manifold. Remember we took this out. So we bought a nipple and another piece for that to hook our hose to. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these open if we can and uh, put those on. I'll show you that. So again here the key is to uh, put your tape on there. So here we'll put our tape on here. This will just be in here. And then this is going to go into here. Pretty hard to get that to start in there. Because they got that goo they put in there when they did it. So, But we'll put this in the vise and be able to turn it here. We'll put our pipe wrench on here. And at this point, I can see it turning into both pieces. There we go. We got that tightened up. So our manifold is tight, ready to go. I'm just going to leave that on the bench. Uh, the only other thing we got left to show you right now is how we're going to hook up our uh, union. Remember, we got that other half of that union sitting here. And we need to get that uh, that goes on here. So let's go get our hose and we'll show you that. So this is our, our tube. And what we're going to do here is take one of these off of here. And uh, we're going to wrap our uh, tape on here again. And we're going to put our union. Whoop, put our union. Now, keep in mind, the way the union works is you put it on here, and it's got this cone here that goes into this brass part. So we're just going to put this on here. If you want, you can push this all the way up on the hose. Doesn't really matter. And then you can uh, put wrenches on here. Whoops, that wasn't good, was it? Oh, so something you really don't want to do is uh, drop your tape uh, <laughs> while it's open. We are still going to need this as we join our hoses together. So we have three of these hoses. Now we'll do that. Okay, so we got to get this. We got to get a wrench on here and tighten this up just like we did the other ones. Uh, then on the other end, we're going to put... Uh, 
some joint connectors to connect our hoses together. We'll work on that once we're out in the yard, but uh, let's go get this moved into the shed. So back in the shed now, you can see we put the compressor here. It's close to the outlet where the time will be, so we'll be able to run it. Now, this is why we put the union on here, because turning the whole hose of the compressor is difficult. So what we're going to do here is put the union like this and just kind of snug this up. Not going to fully tighten this. You can see what we did there. Now we got to route this hose. And to route this hose, what we did is we got us tie wraps. You can get these tie wraps. There'll be a link below to Amazon. Uh, the beauty of these tie wraps is these tie wraps have a hole for a screw. So they go like this and a hole for a screw. So what we can do is we can put them around the tube like this, lightly start them, just slide down. But what we can do is get a screw, get ourselves a screw and a, uh, take this, bring it up here, and uh, I'm gonna put it behind this stuff so we take this stuff off the wall. And we can put this up here. The nice thing here is, and at this point, put a little slack in here, pull that up. We finish tightening the screw. There you go. We're going to do this all along the wall. We're not going to let you watch that. And then back in the back, we're going to drill a hole to let the other end of this pipe go out the shed down by the bottom. Uh, we're just going to use a spade bit. Pretty easy. It's going to be tight in there, so we really can't get the camera in, but uh, we'll bring you back. So don't forget, like and subscribe to my two good hands. We'll catch you in the next video. This is pond aeration on the cheap. Uh, this pump was a little around 300 bucks, all right? Uh, now, the one from Pond Guys is great. It's a lot more money. I will tell you, it's probably a lot more robust. It's got a bigger warranty, all that great stuff. Uh, maybe we're going to get one of those, but we thought we'd start out and see how this works with an inexpensive pump and what have you. Because, you know, hey, my two good hands, we try to save you money. So we're going to see how this goes. If it doesn't work out, well, then maybe we'll upgrade. The thing is, this one does not have a cover. So you'd have to build a cover if you're going to keep it outside, maybe use a plastic bin upside down or something and cut some air holes for vents and temperature control. We're going to put it inside a shed, so we're not going to worry about rain or sleet or snow. And then we're going to run the, the hose all the way down to the pond. So don't forget, like and subscribe, post notifications on Amazon links below, shop. If you want to buy something else from Amazon, use the link, go to Amazon, buy something else. It does help support the channel no matter what you buy once you come through the link, and we do appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video, and it'll be soon.